welcome to everything about winners today is build review day and we want to take a look at the insider build 17083 and yeah it's surprisingly um, there are many new features and also interesting new changes here and um, yeah when we think that or uh, um, considering that the next official Windows 10 update will be early this month so this is really a surprise that Microsoft um, is giving um, or is trying out new things in this build and yeah let's take a look at them so um, the build was released the 24th January so um, two days ago and um, yeah when we look at the list at the changes we can see that there are yeah some changes some more changes than usual uh, this time before an, a big update you know so let's walk through them so the first thing in this build what is new is um, that now in the settings so let's jump straight in the settings so you will see under personalization that we have a new setting here for fonts so um, yeah the setting for fonts is now also in the um, uwp setting as apps so you can see that uh, microsoft is trying to shift all settings from the control panel into this setting app so this is a nice thing because um, so you will have just everything in one application and not here a setting app and then the control panel but i think it will take a long it will take some time to move all the uh, things you have in the control panel into the settings and it's also um, hard that the settings app will not be overloaded with a lot of features so yeah now we have here um, all our font settings you can also now download fonts uh, from the microsoft store so um, let's take a look at this and here you can see that we get uh, also here the option to download fonts from the microsoft store um, and because the feature is new and they added this just some days ago in the Microsoft Store, you can see that there is just a handful of um, options to get uh, here some um, fonts. But I think they will add more and more um, in time. So also if you select one, um, one specific font here and you open it, you can change the size to look um, what this font look like in another size and also do you can here type something in um, to yeah see a, a preview of um, the of the font you know so I can write whatever I want um, so that's also a nice option here let's write something else here um, so if you missed or if you used this um, this feature before you can now also find it here in the settings so um, let's move on and the next thing is i talked earlier in the build before that they changed many things for the quiet hours options but now the thing is that they renamed this feature to focus assist. So um, if we go into the hub, you will see, let's scroll down, um, that they have renamed it here. They say quiet hours get a new name and more because they are, um, um, they are expanding this feature. They are also now giving it another name. So, instead of quiet hours now it is named focus assist and now when you right click onto the action center um, icon oops, no so so you will get also here the options to set the focus assist feature so you can set focus assist to off you can set focus assist to alarms only and you can set focus assist to priority only so from there you can change the option you want 
to use. So that's great if they that they added this in this build. Um, and the next thing um, is something for I think more developers or people which are really an IT geek and they want to know everything about their data, what happens with their um, insider data. So now if you go under privacy, um, diagnostic and feedback, you will get a new thing or a new option which is called diagnostic data viewer and here it says if data viewing is enabled you can see your diagnostic data while enabled this will take up to one gigabyte of hard drive space so if you turn it on and you open this up the diagnostic data viewer first it will redirect you to the microsoft store and install the diagnostic data viewer application from the microsoft store it just take around 660 megabytes i think so it's not much but um, it can take up to one gigabyte of hard drive space because the diagnostics are, is, um, are saved on your hard drive so let's open it up and you will see a lot of coding so you can open up the feedback and you will exactly know what um, what diagnostic data are um, transmitted to Microsoft. Um, yeah, and also you here you have a menu where you can um, uh, select many filters, so the drive browsing history, device connectivity and configuration. So we see that um, we get more and more specific things here in the data viewer. You can also clear your um, filter here. Yeah, and you can go to the privacy settings also and select some other things there. So that's also a new option we've, uh, they have added in this build. And um, let's move on. So um, yeah, they added a new option for to make the Windows Hello setup easier. So if you have a device with w Windows Hello, this is the face recognition in Windows 10. So if you have an interior sense 3D camera and um, other um, hardware like this, which can um, detect your face in 3D, um, you can use this feature and you will also have a new setup, which is easier um for you to use um, also we now have something in the settings uh, let's jump into the apps section and let's select an application which um, is here installed um, from the microsoft store so let's say for example um, yeah let's wait we take the application ah here i have a flight sim let's take here flight simulator unlimited 2k16 advanced options and now you will also see the version number that that um, is added here so you can now see the version number of the application i think this also works with applications like let's see if it works with um, applications like microsoft edge uh, I don't think so because it's in pre um, installed application advanced options oh yeah okay so we also see um, the app version of uh, pre-installed Microsoft apps yeah so that's nice so here you can see that's the version uh, 42 17083 like the build that's the build number and ju just it says that's uh, the version 42 so yeah that's nice so now we know that we can also see the app version number of pre-installed stock applications and yeah there are some fixes here they what is a really important note but um, it's it's not that um, a big change or a big mistake let's say they have removed the windows feature sets so i have done uh, some review of what sets is and what set is gonna be in the near feature uh, not the near feature the near future so um, this was this tab option here on the top so um, they removed this feature because it's not quite ready and it was buggy and there weren't many um, options so you just 
we are able to open a new tab here in UWP apps and just search for something in the web. So that was not really productive yet. And here they say, thank you for, su for your support of the early testing we have done with sets. Your feedback helps up as we continue to develop this feature. Starting with this build, we are taking sets offline as we ready RS4 for release. If you haven't been testing sets, you will no, no longer see it. However, sets will return soon in a post RS4 flight. Thanks again for feedback and we look forward to sharing new sets features with you soon. So yeah, that's because um, we are near at the end of the testing for Redstone 4 or whatever the official name will be. So that's because they have removed sets because it will not be in the update early this year. It will maybe be in Redstone 5, which will be released in the end of this year. So in the fall, so September, October, something like that. So yeah, they have removed this and that's it. That was my release to the Insider Build 17.083. And yeah, it's a stable build, so you can test it out if you want. But um, consider that there can or there are many things buggy. So there are many bugs which maybe can prevent you to use this build as a daily uh, operating system. Yeah, hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. The next video will be a series of how you can speed up Windows 10. So yeah, follow me or follow this channel for the this series which comes next. Um, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about Windows 10, please leave, sorry, please leave a comment down below and um, I will respond to that and do a question and answer videos. So yeah, I hope to see you in the next video and bye.